This is what happens if a 130 pound girl tries to guillotine a 170 pound UFC welterweight. Well, what would actually happen is he'd probably slam her on her back and the ref would call it a day. I'll be honest, man. When men and women aren't equal, I'm sorry if that hurts your little stupid ears. <laughs> Shane Mastrano with the big right hook to end this fight in the first round. A question. Okay, would you punch mom in the face as hard as you could? Like, yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> what the, what the else? It's for a billion dollars. I would do that for free. <laughs> <laughs> this suck ass. Bro, no, no, I did my best. Oh, wait, we're playing a girl. You guys, give, give her a Oh, break. my bad. I didn't realize we were playing with a woman. You did really good. I'm very proud of you. It doesn't matter. She's so dumb shit. I don't care. She's pretty sexist, and sexist not to talk shit to her. I actually think he makes a good point, and she seems like she can take it, unlike this girl who looked absolutely traumatized. Hey guys, if you're gonna play video games with your girl, uh, just let her listen to the game while you play. Just saying the N-word. No! <laughs> Has a guy ever walked away from you? Uh -huh. why, why are you talking to him? No. Never? No. Why is that? Because we're hot. Hey. 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 How old do you think I am? That was good. That was good. It's nothing to do with your age. He's just trying to teach you a lesson. And look at the way she chases him when he does decide to walk away. Hey. Double standards that benefit women is she gets mad. She got too emotional. Couldn't keep her hands to herself. <laughs> it happens. Can't say that about a man. No. <laughs> he got too emotional. He's going to jail. He's going to jail. You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail. jail. Can we get a quick thing for the camera real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Now y'all know y'all dad wrong for telling her to do a 360, bro. And then they gassed her up when she did a 360 like something was back there, yo. I swear, females be gassing up the wrong ones, bro. No cap. Yeah, women will do this a lot. They'll gas their friends up that don't even look good. A real friend's gonna tell you to look after yourself and get in shape. And looking after yourself isn't just about your body, it's about your general hygiene, your teeth, your skin. If you want an easy way to improve your skin, then start investing in products to achieve clear and healthy skin. With the products that I personally use from today's sponsor, Tej Handley, your skin's gonna look so much better and if you look better, you're gonna feel better. You've heard me talk about them before and I'm gonna keep talking about them because I know the positive impact their products will have on your life. I recommend you start with their level one system which comes with all the basics a daily face wash an exfoliating scrub an am moisturizer with spf 20 and a pm moisturizer also every box comes with an instruction card that makes the whole process really easy their products are amazing but you don't just have to take my word for it because they have over 5,000 star reviews from customers around the globe because t channel is sponsoring today's video they're offering my viewers a great deal just click the first link in the description and you'll get 30 percent off your first box plus a free gift click that link and get started today 18 years old, it's your first Olympics, and you swam, honestly, your third leg was just phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Naughty, naughty. <laughs> Definitely a Virgo, aren't you? Okay, who, what signs do you think I am? Are you a Virgo, Virgo or a Capricorn? None. Gemini? No. Wow, it's almost like people aren't what their signs say they are. Could you believe that? <laughs>
Isn't that isn't that crazy though? How like signs probably aren't what they really are, and they're just manipulating younger audiences to make a ton of money off them. No, I'm not. You still haven't guessed my sign because they have no fucking correlation to personality at all. Are you a Scorpio? No. Cancer. No. You guys no. suck at this. April. Aries. Holy. Shit, my mom's in Aries. Uh, bro. Uh, when did I ask? <laughs> They got nearly every single one wrong, and I can guarantee you they still probably believe in it. This is why I like this guy. You two are so beautiful. What's your son? Capricorn Aries. Oh, I could never. <laughs> What's your son? Pisces. We're the same son. I could never. Uh, what are they called? Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's your son? Aries. Oh, no, we can't work. <laughs> They're very beautiful. What's your son? What has a single mama got to do to get some good loving? All these men are scared. There was somebody that I got a little involved with, and he mm -hmm. told me that he was this big Theo Vaughn fan. They're going out on the street saying, yeah, Theo Vaughn, big fan of single moms. It was just me and the magic wand this morning, man. If you're giving your body away to that magic wand all the time, then a lot of men can sense sometimes if that garden has been hand dug or if it's somebody's been using a rotor on it. But now, look, if you met a guy, he said he's a Theo Vaughn fan, he's texting you and stuff, but he's not coming over and putting it down. That sounds like a Theo Vaughn fan, you know what I'm saying, girl? That's what we do, baby. We gotta protect Theo Vaughn at all costs, and as funny as he is, he's actually spitting facts in. Like he says, a lot of the time, we can sense when a woman's had a promiscuous past, and you might be physically attracted to her, but most men are not gonna take her seriously or look at her like a long-term partner. I heard there's a hot talk out here <laughs> When you tell a blue haired girl she can do whatever she wants. But like, why don't you like him? Because he's misogynistic. Can you define misogyny for me? <laughs> what the f Define misogyny. You know what misogyny is. I know, but do you know? Library, do you know? Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay, so she doesn't know what misogyny is. Define misogyny for me. Um, the, damn, yeah, you got me, um, <laughs> the, uh, <sighs> define misogyny. I'm not f***ing doing this. What's, what's wrong? What happened? You guys know who Andrew Tate is? Yes. You like him? No. no. Wait, why? Because he's a misogynist. Define he's misogyny. Dirt. He's dirt and he's ugly. And um, a lot of these Muppets just use words that they've heard other people say and they don't even know what it means. And a lot of the times, the ones that act like victims and complain about these types of things have never even been affected personally. Yo, these are some boomer chicks I'm talking about, right? This chick was like, oh, ew, guy play four hour video game. F you, okay? I played for three hours of video game and then I lost a game and I had to defend my honor so I had to keep to play for another two more hours, okay? When you're on a losing streak, you gotta keep playing, okay? When a little boy call you a new f you destroy that little boy, okay? 1v1 me, bro. 1v1 me in 2K. 1v1 me in League of Legends. 1v1 me in Valorant. I will f destroy you, okay? Chicks don't understand this. Is anybody else really turned on right now? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What's more manly than defending auto? Nothing, okay? I mean, he's got a point. You do have to break the losing streak. You gotta win one before you stop playing. If you're a guy who's got his shit together, you got a job, you work out, you're looking after yourself, but you like to game a little bit. What's the fucking problem? How are you today? I hope you're as good as you look. <laughs> you are fine as hell. You know that though, right? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> I know she's joking and she's probably not scared at all because she knows the guy's not going to be interested but she's got more game than a lot of these women and a lot of the time the bigger girls do because that's what they got to work with. Sometimes you meet a really pretty girl and she's not really got much to say because she's never had to say anything. People just look at her and they're interested. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a single guy in your mid-twenties and you're living on your own, please drop to your knees and, and thank whatever God you pray to every day because you're never going to be freer in your life. I know you probably got student loans and blah, 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 the stress and all that bullshit. Fuck that, okay? You're never going to be freer in your life. Go get three years' supplies of condoms, okay? And bang away, my friend. Maybe you don't need to do it for three years. Maybe you're one of those guys for only three weeks, but you need to get it out of your system.
I was completely agreeing until he got to the end. I mean, yeah, in your mid-20s, you're living alone, you're healthy, it's a blessing. You've got the world at your feet. But using that time to chase women and smash women is not the way to go, I wouldn't say. I'd say focus on yourself. Work on your mind and your body. I'm not saying not to have any fun with any women at all, but don't make that your priority. Gender pay gap is entirely made up. It has been illegal to pay women less than men since 1963. So if a woman is getting paid less than a man at her job and she has the same education, same qualifications, it is illegal. She can go to battle against that, that company. It's not happening. They use statistics basically comparing the average that all men make versus the average that all women make. And they try to say, look, there's a difference in how much women make. No, there's a difference in the kinds of jobs women choose to go into that happen to be mostly lower paying jobs than men. There's a difference in the type of work women look for. They tend to want things like remote work and they tend to want to work less hours. They are more likely to take time away from the workforce than men. All of these things are why they make less on average than men. If you actually dig into the numbers and compare apples to apples, when women and men are in the same jobs, mm. have the same experience, same time the job, same qualifications, they are not paid less. And in fact, I think the averages actually show men, women make a couple pennies more than men in those scenarios. So all of this is made up and I think it's utterly absurd. I mean, yeah, we've known this for a while, but I wonder what they're going to do now that there's 20, 30 different genders they've just decided to make up. Protect feminism or low gas prices? Uh, protect feminism. Protect feminism? It's that bad. Why? because we have men that don't identify as men anymore. And you know what, as a woman, I'm pretty proud of who I am and I don't want them taking that away from me. So would you say that like they're destroying what it means to be a woman? They're destroying the American family. They're destroying every shred of godliness that we have left in our society and they're intent on doing it. I'll take the expensive gas, let me be a woman. Anyway, keep your chin up. You ain't got to do much because she's already where she belongs. She belongs to the streets.